For a seasoned gamer, piloting a drone isn't a big leap, but the controllers the U.S. military uses to fly unmanned aircraft still take hours, if not weeks or months of training. But what if you could tell a drone what to do, just like if it were a person? That's what Primordial Labs is focused on developing. The company recently demonstrated the technology to control a drone with natural language at a park in Virginia. For me to do it manually, it'll understand it, so I'll do that live, and then also verbally plotting points from the aircraft. Go to 125 feet, then move 50 meters north of target 21. So like doing all that with, with the sticks is a lot of work. He just told us to do a lot of things that would require a lot of manual engagement. Lee Ritholtz and Adrian Pope, two former Lockheed Martin Skunk Works employees, co-founded Primordial Labs with the intent of developing technology that helps tackle large problems pervasive in human-machine interaction on the battlefield, such as cognitive overload, manpower requirements, physical workload, and training burdens. The company developed the software Anura, also the scientific animal order for frogs and toads, that allows a human controller to simply speak to the drone to get it to do what they want using gear already in units like push-to-talk radios and headsets. In the past, there's been work done trying to apply voice to these systems. Oftentimes, they're voice commands and they are really memorizing keywords, memorizing phrases. That's doomed to fail, that, that will never work. So you'll see when we start demonstrating the demonstration, it is truly natural language. You're, you're talking to it. Um, you can say things in lots of different ways to express the intent. The software is designed to be able to work on any platform or system. At the demonstration, Enora was integrated on board both a small Skydio quadcopter and one from Teal, both competitors for the short range reconnaissance program in the U.S. Army. Wherever uh, we're needed to live, we'll find a way to fit in. Um, and that's a, really one of the big value props we bring is that we don't use any big black boxes. There aren't any LLMs being used here. We're not calling out to kind of op any open AI servers. Um, everything is running locally, and it's because we own our pipeline. While the original scope of the technology development was focused on unmanned aircraft, and the company has done a lot of development work with the Army's Program Executive Office for Aviation and in the Special Operations Command universe, that work has expanded. Primordial Labs currently has contracts with four program executive offices and five companies that include both air and ground platforms. Including working with potential candidates for the SRR program, Anur has also been integrated for demos on the micro drone Black Hornet, which is the Army's soldier borne sensor. And this year, the company is providing Army units selected for operational experimentation a minimum of 8,000 Anur licenses to support human machine integrated formations testing. There is one Anura. So even when we are using Anura uh, for different applications, it's the same software. So every time we have a new application, we create a fork of Anura, and then we figure, is this something that has legs? And if it does, we work very hard to reduce the technical debt back to one piece of software. For more on this story, head over to defensenews.com. For Defense News, I'm Jen Judson.